the day turtles this is Crick with Black Owl Outdoors and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kelty Lightyear 20 degree uh, down mummy sleeping bag the bag retails for $249.99 it's a 600 fill bag with 26 ounces of fill and the 600 fill is actually referring to the amount of fill within the bag as opposed to an 800 fill down bag um, and the 800 fill is going to jump up the price of the bag, which is going to increase warmth as well. But it's also going to increase the packability size of the bag, just because of the more fill in the bag. The weight of the bag, 3 pounds, 2 ounces. It's EN rated, <coughs> excuse me, it's EN rated to 32 degrees at its comfort level. It's lower level, uh, 21 degrees, and I found that uh, pretty accurate. It comes in this compression stuff sack. The shell of the bag is a 40D nylon. <clears throat> this is a regular, regular size bag with a right hand zip. It is, um, uh, I guess, I guess you could say. I don't know what the term mateable, that if you had a similar cow tee with the same type of zipper, a left hand zip, it would, um, like I said, you could mate the bags together to sleep next to someone. The bag has this uh, top baffle collar to stop drafts. It has an adjustable hood to cinch down over your face on colder nights. Running the length of the zipper is this uh, draft tube also to stop drafts. At the bottom of the bag here is this uh, foot box zipper to help regulate um, the, the temperature within the bag at night and it also has a draft tube. On either side of the zipper are hanging loops which can be used to store the bag at home. On the, si on the side of the bag, it also has these small loops, which can be used to secure the bag to a sleeping pad or mat at night if you find you're rolling off your pad or mat. This is secured. I've never had an issue, never had a need to use them, but it's a feature worth uh, mentioning. And one of the main reasons why I really like this bag is the price and not the price of retail the price I paid for it and I don't know maybe you think I have a certain um, taste for this uh, orange color I'm not sure you want to call it but I got this bag discounted on sale I think for maybe 170 180 dollars because if I had assume this color was not a popular choice among um, consumers so this bag was left over from the previous year so I got a discount and I'm always always looking for a bargain after um, a year of hard use I use this bag for work mostly and I probably slept in it over a hundred times it's still maintaining a lot of its loft and I just took it out of the compression sack so it's not as you know full as it will be after any another five or ten minutes but for the amount I've used it it's still maintaining a lot of loft, which is a sign of a good quality bag in my opinion. And if you can get a close up, I actually want to touch on something. You can see how dirty I have this bag, as opposed to this orange and this color. These were the same color when the bag was new. And this is from sleeping in the bag um, and being dirty. Like I said, I used it for work. And these are all my oils getting on the bag, which ideally you would not want to do. You want to keep your oils off of the bag because as your oils seep into the fill, it's going to decrease um, the insulating properties of the bag. So one way to alleviate that is to wear extra clothes in the bag with you or to use a sleeping bag liner, which I started to use and I really like. And I'm going to do um, a short video on one of those, a sleeping bag liner as well. So all in all, it's a good bag. I recommend it if you can get it on sale discount maybe not so popular color definitely a bag to keep in mind um, 
for a certain climate. Like I said, this is a, a down bag, which is really great in arid climates, but in moisture climates, a synthetic bag could possibly be a better choice um, for sleeping bag. And I might go into a little more detail about what type of bag to choose in, a, in another video. So, yep, this is the Kelty Lightyear 20 degree down mummy sleeping bag, 600 fill. And this is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Stay safe, turtles.